Hi friends, how are you? As a writer, an inspiring writing and working space is always very important to me. It not only help my creativity juice flow, but also help me get comfortable and get into routine easier. It helps in building consistency. In today's video, I want to share with you my writing space setup. Although I would rearrange it every once in a while, this is what works for me currently. My writing space is setting up with two and a half desks. I know, I know. It might sound a little bit excessive, but I really like a big writing space because a lot of the time I would lay all kinds of materials out when I'm writing. It's also because I have those old small desks that I don't want to throw them away, so I try to find a ways to repurpose them. My main writing desk is this one by the window. When I sit here, I can easily look out the window. Something about it always makes me feel inspired. I got the desk from IKEA with the drawers on the side. Currently, I have two stacks of books on the desk. One stack is the book I want to read soon. Another stack is the book related to my current screenplay research. And I always keep my last draft of what I'm working on, as well as a few screenplay references on the desk. You might have seen the time I bought this San Francisco picture. I kept it on the desk, use it for staring when I'm thinking about my story, which half of it is set in San Francisco. Also, I keep a diffuser, a cell phone holder, and of course, the mirror for chatting with you. Most of the time, I write on my old MacBook Air, so I also leave it on the desk. On the right side of the desk is my half desk. I use it also sometimes for writing, but most of the times, I use it for researching or YouTube editing. I call it a half desk because it's technically not a desk. It was a small shelf my friend found on the street, and I took it from her when she moved. I added a $10 IKEA shelf board on top to make it slightly wider, so it can hold my monitor and the keyboard, and it's not too wide so that I can still be as close to the window as possible. This has been my favorite setup so far. Being so close to the window has made me willing to spend more time by the desk and get more work done. On this desk, I have my cheap HP monitor I bought several years ago. I like it because it allows me to have more screen space for editing. On the left of the monitor is my book stand. Sometimes I use it to keep my planner open or keep my iPad. Right now, it holds the book I'm referring to for my writing research. I always keep my mug warmer handy on this corner, so I can access my drink on both tables. This is a physical Pomodoro timer I use for my productivity. I use it when I really don't feel like to work, then I'll set up 10 or 30 minutes and working for only limited time. John Truby's book is always handy on this desk. My keyboard is from Logitech, the MX key. This is my favorite keyboard, super comfortable to type. My mouse is just a normal Apple mouse. On the right side is my Mi lamp. I bought this also a long time ago. It does dim and a temperature change, and it works perfect for me. Behind the lamp is my present moment reminder. I don't know what do you call this in English, but I love the sound of it. Each time when I feel my mind is a chaos or I'm consumed with anxiety, I just ring the bell. And I take a deep breath to get back to the present moment. On the left side is more of a messier area. It's my quick access desk. It's a very old desk I also got from IKEA. I don't like the wobbly leg. It's uncomfortable and distracting when I try to concentrate with my work. So I downgraded it to a storage desk. 
First, I hide a mini speaker here in this corner so I can enhance the quality of the speaker sound from my computer. I keep my main laptop here. Generally, I use this laptop as my desktop linked with my monitor. I bought this MacBook Pro last year. It comes with M1 chip and is super fast with complicated editing. I used it for my film commercial release master export. So if you have watched my film in Taiwan, yep, that's where the master coming from. If you haven't watched the film, hi, my name is Nani. I'm a writer-director based in Los Angeles, and my feature debut was released in the U.S. and Taiwan. Please support by watching the film on Apple TV or other places. Link in the description down below. I use this ring stand to hold my laptop high. On the back of it, I command striped a USB and an HDMI extension. It links to my messy corner of a hard drive setup. I tried to organize the cables, but they are messy. It's just in this dark corner, so it didn't bother me much. But if you have any good idea, please let me know in the comment. Most of my large and small hard drives are all stacked behind my computer, so I can have a quick access. This stand holds all the digital stuff. It used to be a tall bookshelf, and I cut it into two pieces, so I can use half on the desk and leave half under the desk for organization. All my most used equipments are all here: two cameras, my Google Wi-Fi router, the sound recorder, and a headphone. I haven't really found a use of it for the top part. My cats like to jump up there, so I couldn't put plants. What do you think I can use it for? On the right of the equipment, it's my favorite thing, my DIY storage shelf. I saw this shelf for sale on a designer website in China. The shipment is too expensive, so I decided to make one myself based on their measurements. It turns out sturdy and perfect. It holds my vintage radio on top. This radio still works. And it also holds a storage for some random stuff, like fountain pen inks, book markers, and essential oil for my diffuser. In the shelf, on the first small row, is my nail clipper, SD card, fountain pens, and camera batteries. On the second row, there are some letters and cards I got from friends. I keep my favorite there for reminding me the good memories. There are also a keyboard for my iPad, different kind of colored pens for journal, another timer, and my regular used notebooks. Right now, I'm keeping a film viewing notes, a reading notes, a filmmaking study notes, a commonplace book, a notebook for my current screenplay, French notes, and my morning pages. The last session is where I hold my pen holder. Now is the wall. Above my monitor is a board that I keep all the memories that gives me a sense of gratitude. They are pictures with friends, envelopes, and cards from friends. Even the decorations are the gift wrap decorations of the surprising gift from my friend Sky. Every time when I look at this board, I remind myself that I'm loved. It helps quiet the mind of feeling not good enough and self-doubt during writing. Underneath the desk is an old bookshelf where I also hold some easy access items: my old laptop that's been with me for nine years, my FreeWrite typewriter, and another keyboard from Logitech. It's come with my favorite color, yellow, so I bought it for changing things up a little bit every once in a while when I need the stimulation to create. This is some gift wrap tags and the board pins. On the left is a little drawer holds journaling stuff, stamps, cute stickers, wash tapes, and a lot of pens. I used to journal a lot, so I collected a lot of stuff. Underneath of it. Is the film storage where I keep all the legal paperwork for my feature film, all the boring but important things for filmmaking. 
On the left side is an organizing bag for, okay, more journaling stuff, stickers and tapes. Oh, and also there's a box of flashcards. On the right side, I common striped this cable holder for all kinds of charging cable for easy access. It seems organized looking from above the table, but down there is a mess. I used the second half of the cutted shelf to hold the power extensions cables so they are not on the floor. At the bottom of that shelf is a scanner. The last thing I want to share with you is my chair. This one I picked even though it's a little ugly, but it's one of my favorite investment. It's around $400 and it's still pretty expensive for me, but it's so comfortable that I don't get tired for sitting too long. I'm very glad I purchased this chair. Overall, my desk setup are not that expensive. Most of the items are old or used, DIY'd or found on the street. I probably spend most of my money on the computer and the camera equipment. I don't want this video to be the one indulging you to buy stuff, but more of a video inspire you to use what you have to make a creative space for yourself. To be fair, we can always still buy nice stuff we want, but buy it only when we can. I have a good habit of saving money for everything I purchase that is over $100. I use a capital app to set up a goal, save every week until I have enough to purchase. I spent a year and a half to save for my MacBook Pro. It feels like purchasing with a payment plan, but finished all the payments before I own the item. This is how I keep myself out of debt and still own the equipment I want to have. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of setup video, maybe you'll be interested in how I built my book nook here. So you can watch this video right here. Be patient, be present, stay creative. I'll see you next week. Bye. Beep.